Hola everyone, it's Crystal again. If you want to see how easy it is to get this summer floral manicure, just keep on watching. Alright, let's just jump right in here. So you want to get started with clean uh, nails. I have already filed them with my Bliss Kiss glass nail file and I've already pushed back to my cuticles with my cuticle pusher. I do have a few of these. I prefer the flat ones. If you can see my nails have been shined and buffed and everything already. You also want to have your nails dehydrated. You can use alcohol for that. And jumping into our base coat, I'm using the Hollow Taco Long Lasting Base. Definitely see me use, in, use this in previous videos. It's one of my favorite base coats to make my manicures last a really long time. And just to show you guys the colors I'm going to be using today, it's going to be mainly the colors from Ice Cream Nails. This really bright pinkish red called Gummy Bear. Really cute pastel orange called Thousand Island. Then we have a minty green called Grasshopper Pie, a periwinkle blue called Dream Puff, and a really bright pink called Musk Habit. I'm using a pastel yellow as well for the middle of my flowers called Juicy Juicy, and I'm using white China Glaze collet, uh, sorry polish for the petals excuse me and you can also use the hollow taco not milky white um, I do suggest this for nail art however just to you know be careful of the fact that it's very thick by non not milky white really means not milky the polish is really thick so it's just something to be wary of so start off by painting your nails whatever colors you choose I obviously wanted this to be really colorful but you could just do this with one color it's however you want to do it it's something I love about doing these type of floral um, manicures you can you could do the same style or the same technique and have a different manicure every time you do it depending on what colors you choose you could choose different colors for your base and you can even choose different colors for what you're going to use for the petals and for the center of your flowers I really love the ice cream nails nail polishes. Um, the only downside is because the colors are so light or they have so many bright pastel neon and fluorescent colors um, it's relatively common that you need more than two coats but um, for these colors I got away with just two coats especially since we're putting a design on top so here I just did a couple of clips of uh, me painting my nails this is nothing special you just paint whatever uh, color you're gonna do I did do two coats of each color something else I wanted to note no one is perfect at painting their nails, even the pros. I paint my nails all the time and I make mistakes. You'll see later I easily clean up messes with acetone. So if you make mistakes, I suggest waiting till the end to clean up everything in one shot rather than cleaning up after every step. So here's my nails all 100% painted and relatively beginning to dry. Um, you don't have to wait until they're completely dry. And this is one of my dotting tools I have. I've got these, I get these from Amazon. I'm going to show all of them at the end of the video, but you'll need a dotting tool. If you do not own a dotting tool, never fear. You can also use a bobby pin. So whatever color you're going to use, you just take a drop, put it on. I'm using my silicone Bliss Kiss nail mat. However, you can use an empty yogurt lid or a piece of plastic anything that you want to use to drop some of the nail polish and you're just going to pick up uh, whatever tool you're using whether it's a dotting tool or a bobby pin or even a ballpoint pen that's empty um, and just pick up the color and just pop it on your nail I'm doing my flowers with five petals I also like I wanted it to be really I guess dense you can say a lot of a lot of flower and maybe not so much background space if you want to have a lot more of the background space and the flowers to be much smaller you can use a smaller size dotting tool the amount of pressure you push down on uh, when you you know dot the color onto your nail will also affect how big the dot comes out on your nail if you're very quick and light you could get a much smaller dot even with the same tool versus you know pushing down a little bit more so that the surface area of the polish actually spreads a little more so 
Here you can see I'm just going across all my nails. Um, you might notice a couple of times when you, you're dotting that the polish starts to get stringy. It means it's starting to dry up a little bit. All you gotta do is put another drop of the polish onto your nail mats or whatever you're using to um, you know, work or whatever. You just need to add a little bit of more polish to, I guess, wet it, you can say. Um, another tip here is some people I've seen have had the habit of doing this look and they want to get the full amount of the f like the full body of each flower on the nail and it comes out looking kind of sloppy so you want to kind of um, do flowers on the edges of your nails too like make it look like it's going off the nail so that it looks like it's continuing off the nail uh, it makes the pattern look a lot more consistent I guess is the right word when you have one nail with like big chunks of flour and then nothing on the edges. You, I kind of did that with the orange one and I regretted it. Um, it doesn't it doesn't look as well or it doesn't look as consistent or what more put together. So that's my little tip when you're doing patterns like this. It goes for anything, polka dots, not just flowers. It goes for polka dots. It goes for any type of design you're doing. So on the next round, I dropped a little bit of the yellow polish and I'm pretty much doing the same thing. As you can see, it doesn't matter if the white dots were a little bit messy or thick or thin. The yellow dot in the middle kind of puts the flat pulls the flower together. So you're just going to pick that up and fill in the middle of each of your flowers. Again, this is super easy. You're literally just painting your nails and then taking a dot dotting tool or something and just popping a bunch of dots on your nails. So I wanted to show a little bit of clip of my dominant hand. And by dominant, I mean I'm a righty. So obviously, for most people, your opposite hand comes out better. But on rare occasion, my dominant hand comes out better. And this was one of those. I feel like my right hand came out better than my left hand with these flowers. Not sure why, but um, yeah, you can take a look here and see. Again, just like I noted before, if you get polish on your cuticle or on the sides, just keep moving. Don't freak out about it or try to clean it up because then you end up messing up your nails um, while you're working. This is how easy it is to clean it up. I take a little bit of pure acetone, I pour it into the cap, and I take a angled brush or any type of um, hard bristle brush. You dip a little bit of the dip it in to get a little bit of acetone excuse me take off the excess on a mat or a paper towel and then clean up the edges with the brush and it's it's that simple um, i always suggest to take off the excess because if you just go straight for the nail of course your nail is going to get flooded your cuticle is going to get flooded with acetone and you could smudge your manicure and then afterwards you can clean up while you're waiting uh, before you put in your top coat. That's what I like to do, but only if you know you're going to be really careful. If you know you tend to be a little bit more clumsy, I suggest waiting until after your nails are completely dry. But I use the same acetone that I put in my little cap. I put it on a cotton round, I clean my dotting tools, and then just wipe down the mess on my silicone nail art mat. I love this mat. It's the best. Like it saves my desk. It saves all of my stuff. All I need to do is take a little, a few drops of acetone, put it on that cotton round and just wipe it down when I'm done working and just put it away. I don't have to worry about throwing out paper towels or messing up my desk or anything. So it's pretty awesome. Well, during the time I was cleaning up, my nails have relatively halfway dried. I'm going to be using the Hollow Taco Super Glossy Taco Top Coat again. That's a mouthful, but I love this top coat. It comes on really thick like a gel, and it doesn't smudge when you do nail art. Um, I always suggest when you are doing nail art, wait a couple minutes before you put your top coat. You don't want your top coat to drag your the all the work you just did, and you know it all goes down the drain. Um, so that's the first tip with that. The second tip is you want to use a really thick coat of the top coat because the more polish you have between your nail and the brush the less likely the brush is going is it's going to be for the brush to disturb your whatever design you might have done whether it's flowers or you do stripes or whatever it might be you don't want the brush to disturb anything so a thick coat of top coat also assists with not messing up your nail art whatever you might have done all right so i'm just finishing up here with applying the top coat a quick look here 
And the last step is applying cuticle oil, but again, waiting for it to dry a little bit. I wanted to show you guys the dotting tools. I actually get these on Amazon. They come in a pack for like 12 bucks for five dotting tools for all different sizes, a whole bunch of different types of nail art brushes. Um, they have thick ones, thin ones, a really, really thin dotting tool, angled brushes for cleanup, the fan brushes to do like dry painting. I really, really love that set. And it also comes with two um, sets of gems and pearls to glue to your nails for designs too. So I definitely just wanted to show you guys um, what that comes with. So I do use the Cuccio Naturals Cuticle Oil. It's um, milk and honey scented. I really love this cuticle oil. I keep it by my bed um, and it lasts forever. So while I'm rubbing that in, just wanted to show you guys how easy this manicure is. I really, really love, love, love this cuticle oil. I love the ice cream nails, polished colors. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you like my content, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on my little logo in the corner. Uh, my favorite products and anything I mentioned in this video can be found in the description box below. And of course, I am an Amazon affiliate, so any support that you can provide in purchasing these products is hugely, hugely appreciated. I really want to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching, and I hope that you're all being safe. Take care.